Hello, I don't know if anybody's there yet, but I just wanted to get things started a little bit early and let you know one thing you're gonna need, you don't really absolutely totally 100% need it, is a towel. One thing you definitely 100% need though is a bottle of water somewhere close. So again, a towel, a water. I bought myself for my own home a plyometrics mat, which is extremely useful to have when you're jumping around or you're getting down, um, it's nice and comfortable for your knees. It's good for your joints. So if you don't have one, it might be worth investing in. I have ceramic tile on my first floor, so it gives a lot of really nice cushioning, especially for any kind of plyometric movement or anything like that. So it could be helpful to grab a towel. If you don't have a towel nearby, you could take a jump rope. You could even grab some painter's tape and maybe draw a line through the middle of your floor because it's nice to have just that visual. Again, make sure you have water, a towel to towel off if you need it. What you can expect, we have about 45 minutes of class. We're gonna begin with about a three to five minute warm up. And then once I press my timer, we're gonna have 35 minutes of work. We're alternating between cardio and strength training. We'll spend roughly about six and a half minutes in each. We'll do cardio, strength, cardio, strength. And then I'll we'll finish with a nice soothing stretch to put things back together. Hope you're good. I don't know how to check things on here, so I don't know who's seeing, but thank you for coming. I miss you guys so much. It's not the same being at home, I know, but we're moving in the right direction here. You know what? I realize you can't see my timer. Oh, All right, and it's about four o'clock, so it's time to begin. Can you see it now? Sort of? Kinda. All right, there we are. All right, so something that you need to know is you can always modify. You don't have to jump. You don't have to leap. You don't have to do every push up on your toes. Find what works for you. If squats aren't gonna work for you, maybe lunges will. So feel free to modify and customize just like you would in a class. So just know you don't have to. Another thing that I should tell you is when we get to the halfway point, we're gonna repeat everything. We're gonna repeat the same cardio and the same strength. So if today you're finished after the first part, you can be finished after the first part. If you wanna hang around with me for the second part, hang around with me, okay? So I think it's time to be ready. So again, the towel is optional, a mat is optional, but you definitely want space to move forward, to move back, to move side to side, to move over your coffee tables or whatever you need to. You definitely need some water. All right, so we're gonna to begin to warm up your muscles, joints, and get your heart rate up a little bit. All right, set your watches. It is time to get things started. All right, again, if you wanna blast your own music, blast your own music. I have something light in the background, but if there's something you like to move to, something you're motivated by, by all means, go for it. We're gonna begin with a small, light jog in place. Hit the ground nice and soft. Start to bring your knees up. Consider picking up the pace a little bit. And breathe. Let's get our heart rate up. Belly's tight. Knees soft, especially when you land. All right, a little quicker. There we go. Turn it into a butt kicker run. So now your heels are coming up towards your back side. Warming up the back of your legs. Continuing to bring your heart rate up. Make it a little bigger if you can. Either speed it up or increase the range of motion in your heels. Eight, seven, six, four, three, jumping jacks. Knees and toes turned out a little bit. And if the jumping up and down isn't gonna work, you can take a different option. You might find yourself getting a little bit uncomfortable. That's good. That's not bad. A little bigger, extend your arms and legs. All right, so next, I'm gonna turn to the side. You can stay face forward. You're gonna get down into a squat, walk out into a plank, give me two push-ups. Bare crawl back, keep your knees close to the floor, heels down and lift up. Again, walk out, two push-ups, bare crawl back, 
on your knees. You can drop down from here and be fine with that. If getting down to the floor isn't gonna work, you can work on some squats and then you can do some push-ups against a wall or against the edge of your couch. Last time. Come back. Heels down, looked up. But we are gonna bear crawl out again. So come out from plank, hands underneath your shoulders, step one foot outside your hand, drop into your hips, lift your chest. Hip mobility, switch sides, drop in. This time we're gonna add an upper body rotation. So drop your hips, reach up. So whenever you move, incorporating a little bit of hip mobility stretches is a really great way to prepare your hips and lower body for what's to come in your lower back. Reach. Let's get that one last time you side. Last time. Now we have a reverse burpee. So starting in plank, we're gonna jump out, up, down, back, up. We got four more of these. Another option is to walk in and lift up instead of jumping. That's fine. Another option is to not come all the way back. Let's get two more. Why not? One more. I think we're warm. We're gonna begin in cardio. This is when I would like you to grab whatever it is you're gonna draw a line with. Again, I just folded up a towel or rolled it up. Lay it down so I have my visual marker. If you need to jump rope, use a piece of tape. If you hit it, knock it out of the way, don't worry about it. It's more of a visual aid than anything else. All right, have your water handy. I hope you're excited. When I hit the timer, that's it. He's gonna tell us when to move. 30 seconds of work, 15 second rest. 11 times, all right? 30 seconds of work. Starting with straddle. You're gonna squat, crossover lunge, same side. Straddle, crossover lunge, here we go, come with me. Straddle, crossover lunge. Now, I want you to dig this heel firmly into the ground and don't lift it up. Especially when you transition. Don't lift it up, I want you to press it down. If you wanna make this harder, stay in it. Don't come out of that low zone at all. So this is making it harder. If you need to pull back, this is where you are. Five seconds, gang, come on, get in, roll deeper. Guess what, we rest. 15 seconds to recover. Shake off your working side. We're gonna do it again, this time using the other side. Down, not exactly sure which side you're on. I'm on my left now. Here we go guys, 30 seconds. So again, this is one way of doing it. This is another, and this is another. Maybe the crossover isn't gonna work, okay? This is where we customize. If you are crossing over, keep your hips square to the front. Don't rotate out, keep them square. Work at your own pace. Come on, almost. Two, one, next. Get the heart rate up some more. So hop, one, two, hop, one, two, hop, one, two. Smaller option. So many ways to light it up. Two, one, here we go. Lighting nice and soft. If you want more, leap up a little higher, but stay quick and reactive with your feet. Again, look, you can change it. You don't even have to use that little visual. Come on, eight seconds. Keep breathing. Remember to keep your joints soft. Two, one. You can do that very same thing. Keep going with the hop one, two, or hop over, thruster. Hop over, thruster, your pick. And I will show you options. Two, one, go. Again, the hop one, two is plenty good if that's the option you wanna take. Another option 
If you don't want to get all the way down and up, is to get down on your legs and tap back instead. Look, I can still do it. I can find a middle ground as well. It's your workout, guys. Seven seconds. Come on. Here we go. Good. All right, next, we got the clinch knee straddle. So you're gonna straddle, reach high to one side, pull in, drive your knee up, clinch knee. Go. Think of this as cardio, yeah, but also standing abdominal work. Reach high, grab hold of something, and then yank it down towards your hip. Sharp knee. Range of motion and reduce speed is your way to change it up to satisfy whatever you need. But I want you sweating. Oh. I'm a little glistening. I've got a nice temperature in here. All right, other side. Straddle. Ready? Get hold of it. Get set. Go. Let out and exhale every time you bring it in to help maximize your range of motion. Absolutely welcome for modifications, guys. But please take them if you need them. Good. Pull. Come on. Big reach, big pull. Oh, man, keep going. One. Bear crawl. Option one. You can be on your knees, crawl out, crawl back. Option two, on your toes, crawl out, crawl back. Option three. U shape movement. Keep going, keep going. What I want to show you is how close to the ground my knees are. They're close, you see that? My bottom's not up here. If this is happening, I want you to take a different option. All that means is that your core and lower back aren't quite there. And that's fine. I'd rather you take an option and work hard, but keep yourself safe at a lower point. Come on. Come on, how fast can you be? All right, guys, look. That's just one time. Quick lateral hops. So glue your legs together. Jump side to side or, or run in place. All right? But stay with us. Whoops, look at that, I'm stepping on it. Try to make it over. Try to stay on the balls of your feet. Look, it's in my way. I'm gonna get rid of it. Come on. Now, two options here to intensify. Speed it up and or increase the height of your knees. But land quiet. Easy. Same thing. The good news is we have three more and then we have one minute to recover ourselves. Can we do it three more? Minute and a half. That's it. Glue your legs together. Off side to side. Or, 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 come on. What's it gonna be? If you need to restore some energy, you take a different option. Two more exercises. Left or 
right. Just change your direction when you back. If you were alternating, alternate again. Come on. I can't see you, so I'm gonna have to trust you. Stay off your couch. Let's go. You stay off yours, I'll stay off mine, I promise. We're together. Come on. Personal best here. Cardio's almost done for now. Three, two, one. What do we got? All right, guys, keep it up. You don't need this right now. So heading into strength training, relying on body weight. It might be wise to fold a Pilates mat or a yoga mat underneath your knees, or maybe grab a pillow or roll up a towel or your roll up your towel or roll up a blanket. We've got quite a bit of plank variations, starting with the mess of push-ups, which I know is super exciting, but I just want to throw it out there. Okay, at any point in time, guys, we have about 15 seconds. Regular push-ups your way, your knees, toes against the wall, it's your choice. But if you can, if you want a little something extra special, I want you to make a U-shaped push-up. You see that? Ready? Get set. Now come with me. We're gonna rotate around and then hit the other side. So this isn't so much about speed. This is about control and a nice, smooth range of motion all the way from one side to the other. Great way to, ma to maximize the load on your pecs, one side then the other. Functional, real life training. We're not always even. Again, regular push-ups are fine. Come on, three, two, one. We have push-ups again. This time we're adjusting our handprint from this, then we're gonna switch to this. So watch. So I've got one handprint. I'm gonna turn it and push up from there. Ready? Give it a try. So from the side, right in front of my chest, down and up. Then I'm gonna change the handprint. Belly tight. Knees or toes, you can even bring your knees all the way in, as long as you're pressing your body weight into the palms of your hands. Come on. In 10 seconds, if you want more, make it a little bit plyo. Push yourself from the bottom up. And then switch. Lots of choices. All right, next, frog bridge. You're gonna lay down on your back. I want you to press the bottoms of your shoes together and lay down. So the bottom of your shoes are pressed. As you push them together, that's gonna lift your hips. Go ahead. So you're squeezing the, the bottoms of your shoes together. Knees out, you're gonna feel this in your glutes. Now I want you to lift a little higher and release. Squeeze, hold, release. You can thank Bob for this. Bob, I'm sorry, I don't know your last name. I don't know if you're watching. I hope so, but this is one of my favorite things to do now. Really works your gluteus and medius. Should be a little bit hard to get. So squeeze and lift. Two, one, squeeze, hold, hold, hold. Now release. All right, arms up or to your sides. It's a little bit harder here. Starting with your heels by your bottom. Dig in, lift your toes. You're gonna walk. Switch sides. Starting now. If you started early with me, congratulations. Your butt just got even more stronger. That's not proper grammar, but it doesn't matter. Come on, dig in. As tight as you can, I want you to squeeze the muscles of your pelvic floor, all right? I want you to squeeze them as tight as you can to keep your hips lifted off of the ground. So many benefits for your body, guys. Rest, okay. Are you guys sweating like a ton? Because I know I am. Tricep dips. I see you guys commenting. I'll go check it out, but I'm not there yet, so hang on. Fingers really close to your bottom. See that? So here's a couple ways to make this harder. You can extend your legs out. You can also pulse the bottom half of your range. If you need to, drop your bottom, press your heels into the ground, and send the tips of your elbows out back behind you. But press into your, really press into your palms, whether you're lifting your rear end or you're not. We're gonna do this exercise two times in a row, so you're not done yet. 
Find your option. Pulse, stay in it, whatever you need. Rest, he said. All right, same thing, okay? Just wanna see what you guys are saying. I miss you too, Nancy. I miss your beautiful face. Ready? Here we go. So again, you can pulse it. Elbows go straight back. One leg out, two legs out. Again, this is the most intense option. So if you need to, do a little something different. Whatever's gonna work for you today, right? You feel it in your triceps, right here, right behind your arms. That's the money, that's the money. Five seconds. Prisoner squats, I'm gonna get into it because I wanna make sure that you know your options. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, starting from kneeling, down, down, or up, up, down, down. If that's not gonna work, squeeze your shoulder blades together and just squat deep. So you pick, guys, you're gonna take one of those options. This one right here, this is a great option. This is another great option. But either way, whichever option you're taking, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Fingertips are lightly behind your head, your chest is lifted. I've got nothing else for your upper back today. Okay, so I need you to engage. I need you to want a stronger back. Can you feel your back working? Come on. Rest. One more time for prisoner squats, I promise. No more prisoner squats after this. Engage your back. Make sure you're breathing. Everything's lined up underneath your hips. Ah, balance. Sometimes your mat or your towel gets snagged under your shoes. Fix it and then keep going. Engage. Breathe. Three, two, one. Let's lay on your side. We have a side crunch. Stack your shoulders, arm in front and the bottom. Hips stacked, knees stacked. So one option, another option, final option, go ahead. If you're coming all the way up, glue your legs together. Your knees, your ankles are all glued together. Crunch, at the bottom you're stacked. Crunch and reach. Come on, find what's gonna work for you. What's gonna work for you may not be what works for me, may not be what works for your child who's doing it next to you, just find what works for you. Good. This is also really good, guys, if you have pets around the house, this is a good thing to learn how to get off the ground safely so you can kind of push them out of the way. Say, ooh, get out of the way, I'm working out. Go ahead. I don't know if anybody else has that problem. My kids know better. If they come to me, they have to work out too. Reach, squeeze, almost. Good functional training, knowing how to move from the ground up, knowing how to get up. If this, this is not a skill that you're gonna keep forever unless you keep using it. Squeeze. Final exercise, then you get your one minute break. Starting in plank, hands underneath your shoulders. You saw this in your warm up. We have a Spider-Man climber. Option one, drop your hips. Option two, make it a little bit plyo. And if you're like, hey, I'm getting nowhere close, guess what, it's fine. It's fine. So, you wanna try to get all the way to the outside of your hands. Or, you find wherever's gonna work for today. And from that point, if you can add a tiny amount of impact, it's so good for your joints. It's so good for your bones. Come on, three seconds. One minute, grab yourself a drink. Yes. Let's keep things going, Lori. Yes. So we're now officially at the halfway point. This is decision time. You can take what we just did, you can call it a day. There's nothing wrong with that. 
Or you can think, you know what, I'm feeling okay. I'm gonna do it again, but I'm gonna run a little faster. I'm gonna jump a little higher. I'm gonna squat a little deep, deeper, and I'm gonna make some real change, even more. I'm willing myself to do it too. It's so much better in person, but here's the next best thing. If you need the towel, if you need the visual markers, get it now. Straddle, squat, crossover. Ready? Go, remember it's one leg. Keep one heel connected to the floor. Now I'm gonna take this more intense option. I'm gonna stay committed to that right side. I'm not gonna stand all the way up. How about you? Don't have to make the same choice. Or can you get even deeper? Can you stay even deeper? Keep breathing, keep your belly tight. Your chest is lifted, your neck is long, shoulders back, all these things good to remember. The man said rest. That's what we're gonna do. Same thing, just gonna carve and copy on the other side. Ready? Go. Get in. Now how deep are you? I can't see you. But are you really, really sinking in? To your best ability. I want your leg burning. I want it telling you to stop, and I want mind over matter. I want you to just dig in. It doesn't hurt. It's just tired. Four, three, two, one. Whew. So again, I'm gonna hop one, two, hop one, two. If you wanna hop over a thruster now, you can start early, okay? So again, just watch, preview. Ready? Go. Come on. Stay on the balls of your feet. Stay quick. Stay quick, stay quick, stay quick. Come on. Stay quick. Come on. Can you speed it up? Your best, your personal best. Eight seconds. Two, one. Okay, so this time around, I'm gonna thrust her. You can do the hop one too. Stay with that, that's fine. Otherwise, hop over, step back. Or hop over, full thruster. Legs together, hop over, full thruster. Ground to stand, it's hard, it's hard. But you know, you can do hard things, guys. 10 seconds. Five. Clinch knee. Straddle. Eight more seconds to recover. Keep your feet moving. Reach. Big exhale every time. Now you're not me. Your heart rate's like hovering around your collarbone. It's all good. Keep breathing. Temporary. Three minutes cardio is done. It's good news. Come on. How much time? Six. Come on. You got it. Everybody gets kind of crazy towards the end. I know for myself, that can be true. So as a mental reminder to me, to whoever else is struggling, get that form. One. Belly tight. Come on. And again, grab that chain from the ceiling. Yank it down. Out. 
like this. Back, another option. Or, you move and then you shape. How many times did you go around the U last time? Can you do it one more time? Knees close to the ground, belly tight. Done. Same thing, other side. Minute and a half. Same thing. 30 seconds. What are you guys listening to on that side of the camera? What are you listening to? My music turned off, I think. It's gotten much more quiet over here. I needed it. Speed up. Speed up. Shake it up, keep your legs moving. Your last 30 seconds of cardio today, unless you want to do something else. Here we go, set, go. We've got it done. One more strength. So again, we have push-ups. If you want to use a mat or a towel for your knees, we're going to be doing some stuff laying down. Keep breathing. 30 seconds to keep resting. to the other. 
If your neck is long and straight, you're not looking down at your chest or at the floor, but just moving your chest in that bowed movement. All right, rest, he says. Handprint. One side, other side. Keep alternating. Ready? Set up your the side you want to start with. Ready? On your mark, get set, go. Knees or toes. So this has a very awkward feeling. If you're not familiar with doing this type of offset training, it does feel a little bit awkward, but it's extremely functional. Keep your belly button pulled in and tight. Because like I had said earlier, life isn't always linear. It's not always flat. It's not just side to side or forward and back. Sometimes our angle's different. Three, two, one, lay on your back. Lay on your back. Press the bottoms of your shoes together as hard as you can. And as you're pressing the bottoms of your shoes together, use that to lift your hips. Squeeze your rear end as tight as you can and press, lift. Four, three, two, stay up, but release it a little bit. Now a little tighter, pressing through the, your shoes all the way along the edges, the flat bottoms. Press, now release. Again, squeeze, press. Nice and tight. As hard as you can. Now release. Keep going. Keep going. Three, two, one, and rest. Good. Now allow your heels to come close to your bottom. Press into your heels and lift your bottom up in the air. Squeeze. Ready? Get set. We're going to walk. Walk your heels. Let's go. All together. So one foot goes out, out, in. Switch your lead leg. So left, right, left, right. Now switch. Right, left. Stay as tall up in your hips as you possibly can. Digging as hard into your heels as you can. The whole time, your waistline is tight. Guys, if you can't lift your hips, you can still press into your heels. This is still good work. Your hamstrings are still going to reap the benefits of this. Three, two, one, done. What's next? Tricep dips, I think. Yes. Hands right behind your bottom. Fingertips are right there. You never go far like this. You stay nice and close. Here we go. Tricep dips. Elbows shoot away from you. Your shoulders are back. Your neck is long. A good tricep dip isn't necessarily deep. In fact, if you're using your chair or if you're using the edge of your couch, I just caution you not to go too deep because it can really do a number on your shoulders. It's better to keep it shallow. And if you want more, pulse it. And if you want more still, extend your legs or hands. If you want less, bottom down, press into your heels. Three, two, one, rest. Take a break. So while you're taking a break, look at me. Here's your option, okay? If keeping your hips off of the ground is a little um, too much, do it from here. Ready? You pick. So you can come all the way down, all the way up. Your bottom is just lightly grazing the floor, or you can pulse. It's pretty terrible. We're on the floor, range of motion isn't big, but it's, it's terrible. Come on. 15 seconds. Come on. Ah. I can like hear the sizzle in the back of my arms. That's how bad it is, guys. Three, two, one. Oh man. Good job. Prisoner spots. Engage your shoulder blades, squeeze your upper back. Elbows out, lightly touch the back of your head. Down, down, or up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down, and then you switch sides. Don't stand all the way up. You can, but it's gonna mean you are doing slightly less reps, which is also fine. If you need a little break, totally fine. And I showed you before, the other option is a nice, Deep squat, but the whole time you want to squeeze your shoulder blades together, keep your elbows out wide. Rest. Holding this, even though I'm targeting your upper back, I don't know about you, but my triceps are still working. I think they're mad at me. Ready? Prisoner squats. Here we are. Remember, if you're doing the prisoner squat, switch which leg comes down.
down to the floor first. Almost there, gang. We are so close. The end is in sight. The end is in sight. Come on. Oh, three, two, one. Rest. Sometimes my iPod, iPad, whatever that is, forgets to tell me when we're finished. All right, so stack your shoulders, stack your hips, stack your knees. Arm in front. So here's one option, and another option is here. Ready? All right, guys, we're working. We're working. Squeeze. We are at the end, right? We are. Your entire workout is gonna be over. In two minutes, we're gonna be stretching, and less than that. Can you give me just another inch reach? Squeeze, activate. That's your powerhouse. That's where I want you to initiate. That's where I want you to finish. Rest, switch sides. Stack your hips, stack your knees, stack your shoulders. Bottom arm down in front. Ready, set, here we go. And if you wanna go all the way up, again, you can. And if you're right here, this is your all the way up. Keep going, right here. Squeeze. A little exhale. Exhale when you come up. That improves your range of motion. Reach. We have five seconds. Three, two, one. Rest. Last exercise. And then we can go home. Just kidding. You're already there. Start in plank. Spider-Man climbers, ready, set, go. So again, you find whichever level's gonna work, whether you add in some plyo or you keep it nice and static. I like the static today. I'm not really feeling the plyo. Oh, what the heck, 12 seconds, let's do it. Eight, come on, four. Shoulders back, neck long. Feel the length way down the front of your leg. Engage by just pressing your shoelaces against your hand a little bit. Shake that out, switch sides. Other side, so great job. I hope you guys are sweaty, maybe a little smelly, but it's all good. All right, release that. One foot forward, I want you to sink back into your bent leg. Not your long leg, your bent knee. Lift your toes, reach down and extend. This is our hamstring stretch. So while you're sinking in, you can really feel this. Right going down the back of your front leg. Lift up, switch sides, I'm gonna turn. So switch sides, you're gonna sink into your the leg that's further back, lift your toes. Lower your chest and feel the length going all the way up the back of your front leg. All right, let's lift up. Take your hands behind your back, press your knuckles to the floor, lift your chest. Nice big chest stretch. All right, release that. Take your right leg behind your left. Reach up, lean to the side a little bit. Bend at the elbow and walk your hands down your back. So we're getting your lats, your ITV band, and very importantly, your triceps. I think I need to work on my triceps a little more. I think they're gonna be a little tender. Other side. So switch sides, reach, lean, and then bring your fingertips down. Your elbow draws straight up. If you want a deeper stretch, lean, but keep that elbow up. Let's get your hips. 
Take one foot back, tuck your tailbone, sink into a hip flexor stretch. We can reach your arms up, really lengthening out through your chest. Inhale, exhale, deepen and open. Release that other side. Tuck, sink, reach. All right, if you're still with me, that's awesome. Take your hands, clasp them away. Open up your shoulder blades. Here's what I wanna know. I wanna know what equipment you have at home, what you'd like to see that maybe we're not doing or not doing enough more of, or what, you know, what do you want? So I'd love to help you out. I plan on being here next week. You know, these classes are here for you and thank you for coming. Thank you for joining me. Oh, I miss you too, Jennifer. I miss you guys very much, but it was really nice to be with you and share in this. So enjoy the rest of your week and I'll see you soon. Bye.